You wouldn't be surprised to see pancakes in a diner, but what about pancakes on the North Saskatchewan River? As you can see, large rounds of ice are now floating down a beautiful ice formation scientists call pancake ice. When water first starts getting cold enough to start to freeze, the first crystals that form are disorganized and they're floating around on the upper surface of the water and they call that frazzle ice. And once that frazzle ice becomes dense enough, it starts to congeal into, into masses uh, that are the, the, the beginning forms of those pancakes. Glacial systems expert Jeffrey Cavanaugh saw pancake ice on his daily bicycle commute along the river. He says the pancake ice is forming a bit late in Edmonton this year, but it's only a small signal of climate change. Edmonton's going to have cold winters, uh, I assume, for the rest of my lifetime um, to varying degrees. We'll probably get more rain on snow events. Uh, we'll probably get more warm spells. However, Kavanaugh says he doesn't expect the warm spells will impact the strength of the river ice. But don't be fooled by these little guys. They can cause some major problems in infrastructure. So they like to glom onto each other and form these uh, frazzle flocks, but they also like to glom onto infrastructure. So um, outflow pipes or intakes for bringing water in from the river. And so that can cause a problem when um, discharge pipes might be blocked, for example, or the intakes to hydroelectric uh, facilities um, uh, at reservoirs. And so that can lead to big problems with power generation. That's a problem that can be left to the city's environmental engineers. So for the average Edmontonian, Reyes says they should just appreciate seeing pancake ice. But I think this is just a really beautiful example of, of nature at work. In Edmonton, Sarah Chu, City News.